Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the basics of HTML elements. In this video tutorial, we'll see the difference between HTML tags and elements. And we'll also go through the different types of elements present in HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. We have already discussed about tags in the last video. We came across several important tags in the previous video like the HTML, head and the body tags. A simple definition of tags states that a tag refers to a special word wrapped in angular brackets which are used to define a particular type of content on a web page. After using a tag in an HTML file, the browser decides how to render or display the content on the screen, right? Now, keeping this definition in mind, the definition of an element in HTML states that an HTML element is the collection of a start tag, its attributes, an end tag, and everything in between the tags, right? So, an HTML element is basically a collection. Let's understand this with the help of an example. What we'll do is, we'll write over here inside the body of this HTML document, we'll write P, fine. Now, this paragraph tag over here is an example of a tag. It has opening tag and a closing tag. So, this whole thing is a tag. This paragraph is a tag over here. Now, if we add an attribute to this tag, like an ID or a class, so what we'll do for that, we'll write here, let's say ID is equals to para1, fine. This tag now has an attribute within it. ID makes this whole tag unique. We can access the content of this tag with the help of ID attribute. We'll discuss attributes in detail in the upcoming video. For now, let's add some content inside this tag. So what we'll do is we'll write inside this tag. We'll write over here, let's say, this is a paragraph. Fine. So we'll write here paragraph. So this is the content of a paragraph tag. Now we have four different parts present over here. We have the starting tag over here. So this is the starting tag. This whole thing over here is the starting tag. Then we have attribute. So ID here is the attribute. Then we have the content of this tag. So this is the content present inside whole tag. And then we have the end part of a paragraph tag. So this represents the end part, right? So the combination of these four things is known as the HTML element. Now let's talk about the case sensitivity of HTML tags. So HTML tags are not case sensitive. So you can see we have paragraph tag over here with small p present inside angular brackets. What we can do is we can write here capital P as well. So these two things are pretty same. So let's write something inside this as well. So let's say we are writing here this is paragraph 2. Fine. So this is the content present inside this paragraph tag with capital P inside angular brackets. Now save the program. And you can see we have two paragraphs over here. The first one says this is a paragraph and the second one says this is a paragraph two. So what we have to do is we have to remove A from here. Save it now and now it says this is paragraph two. Fine. So I hope you guys got that HTML tags are not case sensitive. Fine. Now let's move ahead and we'll now discuss empty elements in HTML. Most HTML elements have a start tag and an end tag that indicate where the element begins and where it ends. For example, we have this paragraph tag over here. This is the start of this paragraph tag and this is the end part, right? So this indicates that this paragraph tag ends over here. Now there is a group of elements that are exceptions to this rule. So these elements are called empty or void and only have a start tag since they have no content present inside the tag. So they must not have an end tag in HTML. Example of empty elements are like the break tag we have, we have image, link and many more such tags. The list is quite long. So what we'll do is we'll add an image using the image tag. 
So image tag is basically an empty element. So we'll use that particular element and you guys will understand what empty elements are. So as mentioned earlier that empty elements do not require any closing tag. So what we'll do is we'll write here inside angular brackets img is the tag name. Then we'll write here src. So src over here is attribute. We'll discuss attributes in upcoming videos. So inside this we'll provide the path of our image. So let's say we have this image present inside images folder which is a folder present in a system so where we are saving all our html programs so the next thing we'll write here is alt alt stand for alternate so if the image is not shown over the browser then the alternate text will be shown so let's say we are writing here image one now we'll close this image tag so that's all we don't have to close this particular image tag we don't have to write here like this so you can see we don't have to write here like this anything so if we not write it over here that's fine because image element is an empty element so let's save the program and you can see we have an image over here in the browser so the image size is quite large what we'll do is we'll reduce the size so we'll write here this for now we'll discuss all these things in the upcoming video so don't worry about it for now you can see that we have an image over here so this is our image this particular image is what we have added using the image tag so this is done now the last thing we'll discuss in this video is the nesting of elements nesting means we can use the tag or element within another element for example you can see we have a paragraph over here so this is our paragraph which says this is paragraph 2 let's add some more things over here so let's say we are writing over here html stands for hypertext workup language fine and save the program so this is the paragraph over here you can see let me increase the size of our browser a bit so now i think you guys can see it much better now what we'll do is we'll use a particular element or tag within this paragraph tag so let's say we want this html to be cursive and bold in nature so what we'll do over here is we'll use the b tag over here so b stands for bold so what we'll do next is we'll cut html from here and we'll paste it inside this b tag now save the program and you can see html is bold in nature now right similarly what we can do is we can nest one more tag inside this bold tag so what we can do is we'll write here i now we have to put this html inside both these tags save this program and you can see the html is cursive in nature now so you can see we have three different tags or we can say we have two different tags inside a particular tag this is known as nesting of elements so we can do it with html as well i hope you guys must have got an idea about what html elements are and how elements are different from tags in html so that's all for this video guys See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML attributes. If you enjoyed watching this video, then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.